Hi there, in this video we're going to be looking at how we can use the Toast plugin inside of our native script view applications. Let's create a new native script app by using TNS create and I'll be calling this native script view toast with the template of native script dash view dash template. This gets us up and running with a native script view project and from here on out, we can add the native script toast plugin. Now do be aware there's nothing specific about view with this plugin. And in order to do that, we can run TNS plugin add native script dash toast. I'll finally open this up inside of my editor with code dot and then I'll run this on iOS by using TNS run iOS. If everything has worked so far, you should get a standard native script view application. And inside of our app.js, I'm simply going to remove everything. Let's start off by requiring view. That can be done by requiring view from native script view. And then I'm going to require toast from native script toast. After that, we can set up a new view instance. That instance will have a template the template will have a page. We'll also give this an action bar with the title of native script toast. We'll also have a stack layout and we can add whatever we want inside of this stack layout, but I'll be adding a button. And when we tap on the button using the at tap, I want to call a method named show toast. The text of our button will simply say show toast. And from here on out, we can write the show toast method. To make it so our application actually boots up, we can add the dollar start function at the end of our view instance. You should now see native script toast with a show toast button. If we select that, obviously nothing is going to happen at the moment because we haven't written the show toast method. To write the method, we need to declare some methods. And inside of here, I'm simply going to write a new function named show toast. And that will say toast.makeText. In here, we can declare what text we want to say. I'm going to say hello, native script view. And then we can declare a duration. The duration I'm going to give this is long. Notice how that is a string. And then if you want, you can also make this a variable. So we can say const my toast is equal to the toast method. We can then show our toast by saying my toast dot show. And if you wanted to, you could chain that to the end of the toast dot make text function. But if we save this file, you should now see that our toast should appear. I'm going to hit show toast and you can see hello native script view at the bottom of our screen. Let's make this a little more interesting if we added a text field. Let's make this a little more interesting by adding a text field. And we'll give this the V model of message. So of course, at this moment in time, message does not exist. So we'd need to change our make text to instead be looking for this dot message. So we could then inside of our text field say hello. And if we hit show toast, of course, we would get that hello message from the this dot message model. If you've used ng model before in Angular, you should be right at home with v model. We could declare a standard default variable inside of our data called message and this could be our native script view message that we had before. So now by default, our message would say hello native script view, but we could change this to instead say something like pizza. So that's how we use the native script toast plugin inside of our native script view applications. I have to say, I really am a big fan of Vue and I'm using it more and more in my projects. So you'll most likely see more native script Vue content in the coming months. Let me know what plugins you'd like to see, of course, inside of the comments section below and any example applications you'd like to see 
over here in the comments or over at Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for more courses and free content. Until next time, see you soon in that next video.